Welcome back. In our next application of the derivative, we're going to explore what we call the mean value theorem. And what the mean value theorem is going to establish is where, it, where is the tangent line going to be parallel to the secant line of a given graph. And we'll get into that in just a few moments. But to develop the concept of mean value theorem, often we abbreviate the mean value theorem as MVT. To evaluate, to, um, to um, bring, come up with the mean value theorem, we have to explore what we call Rolle's theorem first. And what Rolle's theorem establishes is this. If you have a closed interval, if you have a graph on a closed interval from A to B, and it's, diff it's continuous on A to B, and it's differentiable on A to B, and F of the endpoints, so F of A and F of B are equal to each other, then somewhere on that graph, the derivative has to equal zero. Basically, what this is saying is that if you have two Y coordinates that are the same, on different x coordinates, that somewhere the graph has to change directions, provided that's continuous, it doesn't have any asymptotes or anything like that, and it's differentiable on that interval. Let's take a look at an example of rules there. In my first example, I'm going to explore the uh, f of x as being 4x squared minus 20x plus 29 on the interval from 1 to 4. If I evaluate what is f of 1, I get 13. If I evaluate what is f of 4, I also get 13. Those are the points right here. They're across from one another. And so what Rolle's theorem establishes is that somewhere on that interval, it must the graph must have a turning point. The derivative must be 0. So to find that place, I'm going to evaluate what is the derivative at x. When I get the derivative of x, I'm going to get 8x minus 20. The derivative at c, the way the book uses it, is 8c minus 20. And we set that equal to 0. And what I find, if I solve that, is c equals 5 over 2. And what that tells me, it tells me this x-coordinate right here, um, this x-coordinate right here at 5 over 2, where the turning point is going to be, or where there's a horizontal tangent line. Now, the mean value theorem, it's sometimes you'll see an AP exam question which will allow you to use Rolle's theorem to support the answer, but most of the time they're looking for a mean value theorem. And what the mean value theorem establishes is that not only does there have to be a turning point, but somewhere on the interval between A and B, provided that the function is continuous and differentiable, the secant line, excuse me, the tangent line must be parallel to the secant line. So what this says, all this stuff says, is that this derivative is the slope of the tangent line. This relationship, f of b minus f of a over b minus a, is the slope of the secant line that connects two points on the graphs. What the mean value theorem establishes is somewhere that tangent line must be parallel to that secant line, given that it's continuous and differentiable on the interval. I also cross-multiplied it and wrote the equation this way. It's a little bit broken up, but uh, you get the idea. Take a look at an example of that. First of all, in my picture, um, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing the graph of 1 fourth x squared plus 1. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to connect this point right here at x equals negative 1 and this point right here at x equals 4. And I connect those points. This is called the secant line right here. And uh, negative 1 to 4, um, oh, that should be a negative 1 right there. And what I want to do is I want to use that to find the slope of that line to find where on this graph is this tangent line going to be parallel to the secant line. It's going to be a very important point in the application of our derivative in a little while. So what ends up happening is this. First of all, we need to calculate f of negative 1. We need to calculate f of negative 1 so we can calculate the slope of that secant line. And f of negative 1, I get to be 5 over 4. I also need f of 4. And I got that to be 5. Um, and then I need to find the derivative, f prime of x. And f prime of x is 1 half x, or f prime of c, the way it's presented, is 1 half of c. So now that gives me all the information. And I would set up the slope of the secant line is 5 minus 5 over 4 over 4 minus a negative 1. And that equals 1 half of c. And what I would do is I would, you know, simplify this, cross multiply all that stuff, and I get end up getting c equals 3 over 2. So what that tells me right here is that 1 and a half, at that point right there, that's where the tangent line is going to be parallel to the secant line. If I wanted that x coordinate, and I think our book does get that x coordinate, I've got to take 3 halves and put it in the original equation to get that y coordinate. 
So this point right here is going to be at 3 halves, and if I plug that in the original equation, I got 25 over 16. On questions on tests and quizzes that are not that are um, not calculator, I won't ask you for that y coordinate just to save you time. It's just crunching numbers and plugging numbers in. All right, mean value theorem we refer to it a lot. Um, it's a very strong theorem. Uh, it's pretty simple to use, pretty straightforward. If you have questions about it, please stop me in class, and I'll get those questions answered. Best of luck.